Okay, so hey everybody, Abigail Bullard here with a special guest, Carissa Bullard. Uh, we are both super excited about this box right here. It is from Barefoot Books. Um, I had never heard of Barefoot Books before ordering... I know, it's exciting. Um, before ordering this, um, I was put onto it actually by a friend um, of mine. But uh, I'm super excited. The books looked very educational, and they also looked de really decently priced. Oftentimes, I'm super discouraged by the price of children's books, um, but they had, they're just really excellent. They have very good um, verbiage and vocabulary. It's not um, dumbed down. They have all sorts of things, so let us dig into this. And I think for all of this, I'll put it, I'll put every book that I purchased, I'll put it in the comment section. Um, and for all of this, I paid like $55. I know here in August they have, hang on kiddo, they have a special. It's like if you spend $60, you get 20% off. Um, but I, I also got a little bit more because it's part of a party. Um, but anyway, so first one we have here is Bear on a Bike. Most of these... Um, on the website, if you go to the website, which I'll also put in the description below, I'll put the um, the consultant um, uh, that, who had the party. Her name is Bethany. Um, I'll put that below. Whoa, whoa! And we are just digging in right here. Hang on. Here, have this one. Just bring it back, okay? So first we have Bear on a Bike, um, and I believe this is all about different modes of transportation. Uh, so, and we follow the bear as he goes through the woods, and there he is on a boat. So there we go. We have that one. Let's just take this down. What do you have there, kiddo? And you can, on the website, you can look at these books either by age or by, um, by kind of category, you know, what kind of, um, subject matter that the book is talking about. Um, so here we have Octopus Opposites. It's talking all about um, opposites and kind of focusing on um, underwater life, I believe. So yeah, crocodile wet, crocodile dry, chimpanzee bold, chimpanzee shy. And so you also really get that um, rhyming, which is really, really fun. Ooh. Oh, and this one, I really like this one just due to the, hang on kiddo. Just due to the illustrations, I thought that was really, really pretty. Um, so I'm looking forward to that one. And there was one, there was one book in here. Let's see. And they also have books that um, go along with a CD. So if you're in the car, you can be listening to it. Uh, things like that. Ooh, they have a catalog. I'm looking forward to getting into that one. Um, but here we go is The Elusive Moose. It's a hide-and-seek kind of book. Um, so that's the elusive moose. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You excited? Uh, come here, Cleo. We also got. And then the secret seahorse, which is also uh, one of the hide and seek books. Yay! That's right. And ooh, this one. I was super excited about. This one. It's kind of like a take on, I believe, the princess and the pea, but it's all to do with math. So this is a little bit above where she is right now, but we're still going to have lots of fun with that. Um, so again, Barefoot Books. Whoops, this is my haul. Um, again, I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books, all for about $55, and that's for all the books plus tax and shipping, that's everything. Um, so I'm super excited about all these. And as you can hear, if you can hear her back here, she's getting super excited too. Say hi hi to everybody. Hi hi. All right, so that is it. I wanted to share this with y'all. I was so excited about this. Couldn't wait for it to come. And the super, the mailman was actually super sneaky. I didn't hear him come up at all. So I was very excited when I opened the door and saw these on my doorstep. So again, I will put all the names of these in the comment section below along with Whoa. the name. Oh, Hang on, Chris, along with the name of my consultant. So if y'all have any questions, uh, just drop them in the comment section below. Or if y'all have any other suggestions about books that you like, um, I would love to hear about that as well. So thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you next time.